What's up, everybody? This is Rich from Trubo TDDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick kind of go over of some things I've already had that I've changed. I made my pouch into an electronics pouch, and I did a video of this the other day. I wanted to go over some changes, obviously. I did do it. Um, and uh, yeah, do a review of another knife because I was thinking of things that were small that could fit into EDC pouches, um, you know, useful items, and this is definitely one of them, and I'm sure everybody knows what this is, right? But we'll get to that, and uh, yeah, go from there. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's go over some of that stuff, but before I start that, um, I'd like to do a kind of a shout out. I've been seeing a lot of uh, new influencers new content creators so to say um that doesn't they really don't have a lot of uh subs they just probably started out and they're really budget oriented and it's like super cool to see you know people in that in the community kind of going that way instead of you know wanting to buy hundred dollar titanium utility knives i can tell you before i got into uh you know, medical, fire department, EMS, all that crap. Before I got into that, I worked in warehouses for a really long time. And there is nobody that's in a warehouse that's using a $100 utility blade. Just saying. That's one. That's a Karen item. You know what I mean? So, to me, it's really awesome to see uh, some new creators coming around. And you know what? They're putting out good stuff with some budget items. And that's great. So, check out Surviving the Daily. He's got a... a a few videos not a whole lot of them and i just like sub to him um he's got like 89 or 90 subs so go check him out a lot of cool budget stuff he's putting on there he's got a giveaway going on check him out and uh yeah like sub all that good stuff and get him over 100 because he's real close so that is surviving the daily i will link that person in the description as well as some other super cool channels as well so before i start again this tank is my Hank. So, this is a true budget EDC Hank. It's a collaboration with Old Heritage Old Heritage Homestead. First day with the new tongue, sorry. And um, yeah, Elaine at uh, Old Heritage Homestead is uh, making some Hanks for me. This is a prototype, so it's not really one for sale, but um, this is like a kind of preview of what's going to be coming when uh, we start actually getting the Hanks that are going to be going out. So they're going to have tags. This one doesn't have a, ha a tag or anything like that. But like I said, it is a prototype. So this is uh, what some of them are going to look like. I kind of like plaid. So this is a really super cool one that she made. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll get them out soon. I know she's busting her butt over there uh, making Hanks. So you know what I'm saying? If it takes a little while, it's cool. But Super cool, really good job, and I appreciate all the hard work. So, let's go into this. So, I just did a video on this, right? This is the A7X, the Rovivon A7X Glow in the Dark UV. So, when I did the video, which was yesterday, uh, I basically said everything was awesome about this except for the pocket clip that comes with it. And I was right on with that because I had this in my pocket today and I went out to breakfast with my cousin and we like were in the car, out of the car, whatever. And uh, I got home and I went in my pocket. Boom. Guess what? Flashlight's gone, but the pocket clip is still there. Luckily, flashlight dropped into my pocket and I didn't lose it. So I came home and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm all done with this pocket clip. Put it back in a box. Put the box away. Went to Michael's. Got... Uh, some cordage this is a uh, leather cordage so i literally got nine feet of cord cordage three yards for uh, it was like 350 right it was super cheap so now this has become a pocket dropper it's got a little you know little lanyard on it that i made all i did was cut off four or five inches tie it and not good to go so if you do get this flashlight i was <laughs> totally correct about that clip you will lose this light or oh my, i got lucky um but uh, you're definitely better off either getting one of those dangler ones that come with the, you know, I just ordered one actually for a uh, pocket knife, one of the um, ones with a bail. It's got, it dangles from your pocket and it's got a split ring and hangs on there. So uh, you can get one of those or, you know, just do what I'm doing, throw some cordage on it, you're good to go. So it's working out fine now that it's in my pocket. I don't have to worry about losing it, but it's an awesome flashlight. Check it out if you get a chance. Uh, the video was yesterday and I posted a 15% discount link. Uh, in the description. It's a Rovivon A7X glow-in-the-dark UV light. Tons of features. Awesome. So 
Now, let's see what I did with this pouch, right? So this is one of the pouches um, that I sell, like 15 bucks. This is the OD green one. And uh, it's a wallet style pouch. It's got, you know, a divider inside. I've done videos on these before. And uh, my friend A actually did a video on the pouches that she got from me. And she's got some really super kit, super awesome kits out there. So uh, go over to her page at EDC question mark and check out what she's doing. It's got a lot of cool ideas for gear and kits and pouches and, you know, all that stuff. So definitely check her out. So EDC question mark, I'll put that in the description as well, a link to her page. So this is the pouch that I got. Now, as you can see, it's got the three outside slots. You put your gear in there. I actually found it quite useful to put the cords in here that I can use. So this is just a micro USB and um this is a regular lightning cable and uh they fit, they fit in there really good and they they stay retained in there they don't come out or anything so that's pretty awesome so i uh i kind of like that and then inside i just basically put a brick in case i need to use that i can you know take the brick and charge with either one of these cords so that's pretty good and then i got my uh my earbuds in there and then in the back i put the little uh, 4,000 milliamp hour uh, battery that I got from Walmart. And I actually found out today that they also have these little 4,000 milliamp hour ones at five below. So you might want to check out that one too. Um, I got one for my son and put it away. And uh, yeah, super, super cool. So definitely something you might want to check out if you get a chance. They're really small and um yeah they're good it fits in the pouch like i said so this has the uh little slot here it has a little slot there and uh you can put anything back there i mean but this actually fits in there really really good and uh you know it's a little work not really though and then it kind of goes in there um super good and disappears so you really can't even tell that that's in there and then i just put the little brick in there and got my uh earbuds in there that have a lanyard on them so that's cool and uh close it up and I can actually get something else in there if I really wanted to so basically in here I have everything to charge my phone and also to charge my earbuds and also to charge the battery if I had to charge that too so super cool uh good way to utilize a pouch um like I said I haven't been into pouches that long in my last video less than a year um actually another awesome content creator is Jake from Uncommon EDC and Jake is really who got me into pouches to be honest with you I mean I've had friends that, that you were into pouches and uh, a friend of mine has a lot of them too but you kind of Facebook thing and they do, you just take pictures of them and you know you post them on a group and you don't really get to see them in action and uh, Jake is one of the first people uh, on Uncommon EDC that I actually got to watch his videos and see what he put in his pouches and he's got like a million pouches so he's definitely the pouch god so check out uncommon edc um check out jake over there like i said he's got a lot of good stuff and he's always showing a loadout and he's always showing what he's got in it and he's always really good about like dimensions and stuff so super awesome channel um should be over a thousand subs but uh keep giving him subs go over there and like and subscribe he's got a lot of good stuff going on too so yeah so when i uh, started watching this channel you know i started seeing it in uh real-time live action and uh that's kind of how i really got into the pouch thing and now i kind of lost it and i bought like a bunch of them and i got another one coming like on sundays so uh yeah i really like it and i actually came to find out that this pouch actually this max expedition pouch is actually uh it goes inside it's meant to go inside their bags as a just a pull out option it's got this uh hook back here it's not a hook and loop you can't put anything on it it just has the hook and you can you know stick it to stuff so it's really meant to be uh just like an addition or an insert to one of their bags but it's a really good size it's three by five it's perfect for edc pouch size to be honest with you i've been carrying this uh ever since i got it and i probably will continue to carry it um so yeah this is an awesome pouch but it is supposed to be an insert and I did find out that in my cargo pocket, which this does fit in, I could put my ouch pouch in there and it kind of sits on top of it. So now I can go to, you know, uh, somebody's house or do whatever, because now I'm doing home nursing. I got into um, a nursing agency, so I'll be doing that. So I can always have this in my pocket on top of this and still have the gear that I have in there. So that's super awesome. And uh, yeah, so that's super cool. So now onto this, this is a knife that I have. This is the Tough Light the cold steel tough light um let's just weigh it up it's coming in at 
2.58 ounces so literally weighs nothing super small knife it's been around for 100 years it's got the worn cleft blade it has a two inch cutting um, area on the blade it's about a two and a half inch blade and overall it is about six inches so what led me to do a review of this knife is that I don't think I ever have actually it has a lanyard hole it is a triad lock it is I believe uh, Grivex? I'm not really sure what the material is. It's a plastic, some kind of polymer. But it's tip down carry, right or left handed. You can change it over. And uh, it is a lock back, like I said, triad lock. It opens with the thumb hole uh, opening, the cutout area. And it does actually have a choil there. And I know I always say there's no such thing as a finger choil, but this technically is because it has a ricasso there to keep your finger off the blade, which makes it a finger choil. And then right next to there, it has a really good sharpening choil. And it is made out of AUS-8A, which has a slight bit more carbon than AUS-8. Japanese steel, really good stuff. Cold Steel's got a lot of good stuff, so I definitely would advise you to check their stuff out. And um, this is a really solid, small utility knife. But if you don't have another knife with you, and you have this with you, you are all set. You will be good. So, let me, I've had this knife for a long time, and I barely carry it anymore. Um but it would be something that you could put in a pouch like this, you know what I mean, or a pouch like that. And you know what, yeah, you might not carry it in your pocket, you might not use it every day, but if you put it in this pouch, you know, it's in there, and if you needed to do something and you didn't happen to have a knife, like, I don't know why you would happen would have a knife, but, <laughs> like, if you didn't want to mess up your other knife or something like that, you know what I mean, you could always pull this bad boy out and go to town. Or, you know what, you don't want to carry a knife in your pocket because you're somewhere and you don't want people to see the clip or whatever put it in here you still got it it's out of sight out of mind and you're good to go it's really small really compact and super useful awesome shape worn cleft shape is the best utility shape ever open boxes cut cardboard open packages whatever you can do everything with it so this is a tough light cold steel tough light this is the full size this is the non serrated version hate serrations <laughs> right because i sharpen so i'm not trying to carry around a file <laughs> like seriously i could sharpen on a stone i've got travel stones i've got pocket stones i got you know all kinds of stones so this is a really easy steel to sharpen i believe aus 8 is 58 57 to 59 hrc and the 8a is 58 to 59 so it's just slightly more carbon slightly harder slightly better edge retention nothing to write home about but you know what it's easy to sharpen and if it does happen to go dull on you when you're out in the field or something boom you can sharpen it super easy so that is an awesome knife and a really good option i feel to put in a pouch like i said um it will fit in there um i have a lot of stuff in this pouch it's like 13 things all together including the pouch but it would fit in there and uh would be an option for something maybe go in there I don't know about this zero feud pouch. Um, this is a zero feud cup, the small pouch. Um, it honestly probably would fit in there too. Um, so pretty much even smaller pouches it'll fit in. So it's a good option to just you know pack it out and you're good to go. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Today's Friday, the week's over, but a couple more hours, you know what I mean? Some people work later. And uh, have a great weekend.